Hello, my fellow curious person. Welcome back to another epic episode of our show, where we embark on a profound exploration of mastery by the illustrious Robert Greene. In this in-depth journey, we'll uncover the secrets of greatness and the path to becoming a true master in any field. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an enlightening ride of self-discovery and personal growth. Mastery is a timeless masterpiece that dispels the myths of innate talent and luck, revealing that greatness is attainable through a deliberate process of learning and dedication. Robert Greene celebrated for his insightful works like The 48 Laws of Power and The Art of Seduction, takes us on a journey through the lives of historical masters and contemporary geniuses, unveiling the principles that pave the way to mastery. Green argues that mastery isn't a destination but a lifelong journey of continuous improvement. By understanding the three essential stages of the mastery process, we gain invaluable insights into our paths toward greatness. Discovering your life's task. In this chapter, Green lays the foundation by exploring the concept of finding your life's task, the passion and purpose that drives you to excellence. He draws inspiration from the lives of extraordinary individuals like Albert Einstein and Leonardo da Vinci, who were driven by insatiable curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Let's take the story of Steve Jobs, who was obsessed with the intersection of technology and aesthetics. His life's task was to create beautifully designed products that seamlessly integrated technology into people's lives, leading to the revolution of Apple and the world of personal computing. Submit to reality, the ideal apprenticeship. Here, Green delves into the first stage of mastery, the apprenticeship. He unveils the importance of finding the ideal mentor and immersing yourself in a field where you can learn and grow. Drawing from historical figures like Charles Darwin and Thomas Edison, Green illustrates that the apprenticeship is a period of learning and gaining practical experience. It's about embracing humility, recognizing that you are an apprentice, and absorbing the wisdom of those who have come before you. Take the story of Serena Williams, the tennis legend. During her early years, Serena was coached by her father, who provided her with rigorous training and a strong foundation in tennis fundamentals. His mentorship allowed Serena to develop the discipline and skills necessary to become one of the greatest athletes of all time. Absorb the master's power, the mentor dynamic. In this captivating chapter, Green introduces the concept of the mentor dynamic, a deep and transformative relationship between mentor and apprentice. He shares the stories of iconic mentors like Socrates and Seneca, who played pivotal roles in shaping the lives of their apprentices. The mentor dynamic goes beyond conventional teaching. It involves fostering a profound connection and mutual respect. As apprentices, we learn not only from our mentors' words but also from their actions and character. For example, the renowned artist Pablo Picasso had an early mentor, his father, who recognized his talent and nurtured his artistic skills from a young age. This strong mentorship played a crucial role in shaping Picasso's artistic style and laying the foundation for his revolutionary contributions to the art world. See People's Minds, Social Intelligence. In this insightful chapter, Green emphasizes the significance of social intelligence, the ability to understand and connect with others. Drawing from the lives of masters like Charles Darwin and Coco Chanel, Green reveals how mastering social intelligence can open doors to opportunities and alliances. Social intelligence is about observing and understanding people's motivations, desires, and fears. It empowers us to build strong networks and collaborations that propel us further on our journey to mastery. For instance, Oprah Winfrey, the media mogul, became a master of social intelligence through her empathetic and relatable approach to storytelling. By understanding the minds of her audience, she created a powerful connection that enabled her to build an empire in media and entertainment. Awaken the dimensional mind, the creative active, Moving on to the second stage of mastery, the creative active, Green unveils the power of experimentation and creativity. He shares the stories of brilliant minds like Paul Graham and Albert Einstein, who dared to challenge existing conventions and chart their unique paths. The creative active phase involves combining diverse influences and exploring new ideas. By stepping outside of our comfort zones and embracing uncertainty, we set the stage for innovation and groundbreaking achievements. 
The visionary filmmaker Quentin Tarantino defied traditional storytelling conventions and embraced a creative active approach to filmmaking. His unique blend of genres and storytelling techniques revolutionized cinema, leading to iconic films like Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill. Fuse the intuitive with the rational, mastery. Now, we reach the pinnacle, the mastery phase. Green stresses that mastery isn't just about accumulating knowledge, it's about fusing intuition with rationality. This balance is exemplified by masters like Marie Curie and Temple Grandin, who followed their instincts while maintaining a strong foundation of expertise. Mastery requires a profound understanding of your craft, coupled with a deep connection to your intuition. By honing this blend of rational and intuitive thinking, you become a true master of your field. In this case, the renowned physicist Richard Feynman was known for his exceptional ability to fuse intuitive and rational thinking. His deep understanding of complex scientific concepts, combined with his playful and imaginative approach to problem-solving, made him a true master in the world of physics. The Evolution of Mastery In this fascinating chapter, Green explores the evolution of mastery throughout history. From the ancient Greeks to modern times, he highlights the common traits and principles shared by masters of various disciplines. By studying the lives of these exceptional individuals, we gain insights into the universal qualities that define mastery. These patterns serve as guideposts on our own journey toward greatness. Example, the art of calligraphy has been mastered by numerous individuals throughout history, including the Chinese calligrapher Wang Shiji in ancient China and the Arabic calligrapher Ibn Mukla in the Islamic Golden Age. Their shared pursuit of perfection and dedication to the art form exemplify the evolution of mastery across different cultures and epochs. Connect to your inner voice. The final chapter takes us on a reflective journey of connecting with our inner voice, the core of our true self. Green explains that our inner voice is a source of creativity and inspiration, and it plays a crucial role in guiding us on our path to mastery. By silencing external noise and embracing solitude, we nurture our inner voice. This connection empowers us to make authentic decisions and discover our unique contributions to the world. Let's take the story of the iconic musician Bob Dylan, known for his poetic lyrics and soulful voice, connected deeply with his inner voice and channeled it into his music. His introspective and heartfelt compositions resonated with millions and solidified his place as a master storyteller in the world of music. As we conclude this profound exploration of Mastery by Robert Greene, let's remember that greatness is not an elusive dream but a journey that lies within our reach. By embracing the stages of apprenticeship, the creative active phase, and the pursuit of mastery, we unlock our full potential and embark on a transformative path of excellence. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening adventure. If you found this episode inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with fellow seekers of greatness. Until next time, keep pursuing your life's task, embrace the journey of mastery, and ignite the flame of greatness within you. Thank you and bye everyone.